I have always wanted to live in Paris. Actually, one of my earliest memories and probably my only memory from my first trip is being on the Eiffel Tower viewing deck and my brother threatening to throw me off, which he claims never happened, but I still think about it to this day. But when I came back as a teen in the depths of my Tumblr despair, like what was I wearing? Who let me out like that? But I fell in love with the architecture, the museums, the language, and committed myself to taking French for GCSE and A level. So most of that, I can't remember. Paris is a city I've always loved coming back to. I visited with family and friends and exes and on my own and every time I've asked myself why am I not living here? So last summer I decided to stay for two months just to you know feel it out and I ended up having some of the best times making new friends and just also on my own. And now I know this isn't going to be an easy process and for every romantic ideal of this city it comes with so many harsh realities but if I didn't do this now I think I would always imagine what life would have been like. It is Wednesday the 11th of January, T minus four days until we leave for Paris. And we have not packed yet. Basically the game plan is I am going with one checked in bag, a small carry on, maybe another checked in bag depending. For the first few weeks, I have a sublet. I'm staying at a friend's apartment. And within that time, I'm hopefully going to find my own apartment. Um, so I have to have the boxes ready because I'll get those shipped over once I find a place. Technically I don't really need that much for my initial few weeks but it would be nice to bring some of the things I'm a little bit more precious with in my suitcase just so I don't get freaked out about them being shipped. I'm gonna like draw up a list, maybe, you know I love lists, write down the things that I definitely feel like I'm gonna need and start sorting out my stuff. We're just gonna have to accept that my room's gonna get a lot more messier before it gets clean again. But we're gonna like start doing some piles of things that I wanna bring and like give away and bring in my like suitcase. This is initially what we're dealing with. I got back from London, picked up the last of my stuff from Abby's house that I was storing there. Also bought my first suitcase. Real adult purchase. There was an away store in Covent Garden and I'll show you it whenever I'm packing. But I thought it was a good investment. up here and then we're gonna pick whether they're gonna be suitcase for the first few weeks or boxes to be sent okay guys it's a bit later the room is even messier we'll do a little <laughs> we'll do a quick overview filled one box nearly filled another box this is just clothing these are some clothes which i think i might bring with me for the first few weeks other stuff i'm gonna throw in this trunk for storage. I think we're gonna work on books that I wanna bring. Cause that's like a fun thing to do, you know?
Good morning. It is Thursday, T minus three days until the move. I'm not in my room because it's it's so messy, guys. Like today we're doing like all the annoying bits, like sorting out my jewelry, my skincare, art stuff, kitchen supplies. I have a box from London of like all my plates and pots that I brought back. So I just need to repack them to make sure that they don't get damaged on the way. I also need to look into how I'm shipping. <laughs> said boxes to Paris because I mean I assume there's a service for that but with like Brexit and stuff I want to make sure that we're not getting charged a lot with like import fees I don't even know taxes customs last night the magnitude of my decision definitely hit me like I'm moving countries guys I am moving to a different country where like I can understand a little bit of French but I don't speak the language fluently and I am really 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 excited but it's just scary like we're making big girl moves we are moving to a different country I know with these kind of big life decisions like there's not necessarily a right or a wrong answer unless it's like glaringly obvious so it is kind of weird to think about the different lives I could lead picking a different path or a different place I am very fortunate that, you know, I could stay in Ireland or I could like move back to London and also have the opportunity to move to Paris. But yeah, each of those decisions completely impact the rest of my life and I'm an overthinker. Like, <laughs> I know I shouldn't be overthinking that far, but it's just weird to think that what would have happened if I stayed in London or what's going to happen now that I'm going to France. Will I be fluent in French by the end of the year? Will I have a French boyfriend? Not that we're thinking like that, but that could be fun. Great way to learn language. Anyway, I'm procrastinating when you get packing. Current state. Awful. A mess. Like, what is this? So bad. This is the box which I haven't unpacked, which has some art supplies. My little sheets. A croc. My crocs are here. Somehow in one piece. this box I've used my tiles and any like packing bubble wrap that I have RIP to the bowl and the mug and also a few things have seemed to go missing along the way first up I have this lid to a saucepan but I don't have the saucepan some kitchen utensils but I don't have any of my cutlery and I don't have any of my knives and I'm not sure maybe they took them out I'm just wondering where they are like I remember packing them Been packing up all the tedious things. I made myself some food. I'm honestly feeling a lot better. I've been watching Jenny's like old moving vlogs from New York and her New York to LA one again. Just you know, get in the mood of moving. And like I am, I am excited. Sorry, I'm just gonna like keep doing all these like random chats because my emotions are like all over the place right now. We're genuinely feeling really good and excited. And I was messaging Damon, whose flat I'm subletting. 
once I get to Paris, like Angel, absolute Angel, like the timing. He is going to America for his book tour. Congratulations, by the way. Check out his book. Yeah, I'm going to Paris like next week. <laughs> it's actually bizarre. It's so funny how life works out. A little ginseng in my coffee for energy and good vibes. Also, some sweetness. Listening to Red again. My current mood right now is formatting all my cards, going through hard drives. This hard drive from 2020. This is 2020. More in there. And then these are the ones I'm going to bring with me. Kind of more recent. Okay, you can't see. But there's like three hard drives in there. a few copies of my like dossier printed out my well scanned my passport and my birth certificate and printed out some documents that say that I'm self-employed and paying tax and a copies of some references from previous landlords I don't exactly have all the credentials that French landlords are looking for I just put in as much information as I could provide and you know fingers crossed someone likes me. I guess it's also just handy to have. I feel like French love their paperwork. Slight issue. Weighed my bag and she's overweight. So we're going to check in my Patagonia duffel and bring a little small carry-on. I ideally only wanted to have two bags so that I could potentially get like the metro once I got to the airport. But considering how heavy these are, <laughs> And I'm just a small girl and I'm arriving in the evening and, you know, the trip isn't that far but I don't really want to be on the street with two big bags. Three, three bags, okay. But now that I have three, I feel like I can justify getting a taxi from the airport, even though that feels like such a luxury. Just gotta stay safe and, you know, I'm only gonna be doing it once.
C'est... C'est à Paris Ouais. Pardon, mon français, ce n'est pas... Non, il est bon, il est bon. Il est bon. Il Je comprends, problème. mais... Ah bon, bon c'est très bien, vous avez dit la vente hier, très... Non, ouais. C'est très bon. Merci. Vous avez réussi à l'examen. <rire>